I do compare the birthright um, um, movement uh, today to a similar movement that took place in uh, Texas in 1897 when um, the Populist Party and the Republican Party joined forces to try to uh, 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 pass uh, laws that prohibited uh, Mexican immigrants from being uh, U.S. citizens. And at the same time, their aim was uh, to decitizenize Mexican Americans whose parents were of indigenous uh, descent. And the, this, this movement ended up in, in federal court, all on the basis that, uh, that Mexican people could not be citizens because at the time Native Americans uh, were not citizens of the U.S. And we know that most Mexicans are, are, are full Native, Native Americans or part Native Americans. So they were trying to use a tribal law to, to affect the uh, Mexican population. But they lost. Uh, the federal government uh, stated, no, you can't do that. Mexicans are basically the tribalized people and they have the right to for citizenship. But I believe it's a very similar movement. Um, the political context of these uh, resolutions I have found are very much related to initiatives by states to try to control undocumented migration, but also the belief that many of the uh, people who are Latinos and children of undocumented workers and children of people on temporary visas should not become citizens, um, and largely because I think this is a plan for the future to reduce the size of the electoral population. Who are adversely affected? I would say it would be the Latino community because if children of undocumented workers in the future are decitizenized, they will not be able to vote and this will affect the electoral politics. Uh, but it also affects uh, the Asian communities. The majority of people on temporary work uh, permits are Asians, which for, it's from 52 to 58 percent uh, of those who obtain those type of visas. And the student population is uh, 60, 62 percent um, Asian. So these individuals, the children of these individuals would also uh, lose the right to vote. I just don't understand how the citizenizing a child born in the U.S. will, will cur curtail undocumented migration. It just, to me, it's just not a, a Republican or Democratic uh, principle and it's very un-American.